Okay, so this video is going to take a little bit of a different um, direction, um, as opposed to me putting some code up there and then you're predicting what's going to happen, because what I want you to do is I'm going to put a challenge out there. I want you to try to actually um, pause the video and then try to do the challenge yourself, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the solution that I've come up with. But basically, um, this program, which is our last program, sorry, um, program five, which is our last program here, um, is really good, but it only shows the color for one of the values. And we've got three values we're measuring. We're measuring the temperature, pressure, and the humidity. So what I want you to do is I want you to set it up so the background ch color changes um, if any of those three, um, when those three are actually out of the range they're supposed to. And up here I've written the range, that pressure needs to be between 979 and 1027 and humidity needs to be between 55 and 65. So I want you to pause the video, I want you to see if you can come up with your solution and then when I see you back here we'll um, run through the actual code that we can create. Okay so now you've come back, hopefully your program's running and I'll just show you um, the code that um, I've come up with or how I can come up with it. So basically you're wanting to repeat this three times, that bit of code there. So I'm just going to copy this I'm going to bring it down here, um, I'm going to paste in second time and paste it in a third time. Right, the first time I'm coming through, I want to create a um, temperature message, radio, and then I'm just going to say temp equals, and I'm going to get rid of the rest of the information here, I just need to say that temp equals those. Radio, if the temperature is between that and that, I want you to change the color here, I want to display the temp message which is being displayed across there. Rightio, the next step that we need to do is we need to create our um, pressure message. Rightio, so the message, um, and I don't need the temp part, I need to get rid of that and just go back to displaying pressure, and oh, I'll leave the space in there. Um, and just the, the pressure result as well. Um, and the values I need to put into here is 979 and 1027. Right, yeah. And then finally, the last thing I want, we're displaying the message that we want. Okay, good. And then finally, I want to create the um, humidity message. So in here, I'm going to get rid of all the other stuff and just leave humidity at the end there. Um, if temp if oh, I can't change it should be if press. Right, I need to change the value here. If temp, I need to change it to hum. If hum is greater than 55 and less than 65, um, it should do that and we should display the message here. So I'm just gonna check that I've got that all right. Yep, so if I now run that, let's see what happens. Right, it's showing the temperature because it's over. Radio, and then it's changing to green because the humidity, uh, because the pressure is fine. And then uh, the humidity is red. So there we are. So that's um, the code I come up with. Um, hopefully you come up with a similar code, if not a, a similar result. And that's it.